Well, hello there, motherfuckers, and it is time for the Elimination Chamber predictions video. Yeah, so here's some of my predictions. I'm going to see into the future with my crystal ball. Um, and here we go. Uh, Batista will defeat Alberto Del Rio. You know, not really looking forward to this match. Not a big Del Rio fan. Um, Batista was really nowhere to be found on Raw. He was in the backstage skit. So they're not even fucking taking this seriously. Where was Batista on Raw? He shoved Del Rio. Wow, some buildup. Is this going to be the guy who's going to main event WrestleMania? He's on Raw three hours, and all he does is push a guy. Fucking ridiculous. Now looking forward to this match. I think it's going to be fucking garbage. Batista, since he's returned, has been a big fucking disappointment. And it's probably one of the least well-handled returns I've ever seen. I mean, seriously, I've never seen so, like such a big star return and him just fuck it up so bad. Then you got um, the Wyatts defeating the Shield. Yes, I think that the Wyatts will defeat the Shield. And, um, yeah, I think that they're going to beat him. I think that this is really going to be the match where the, the Shield finally breaks apart. Something's going to happen. Somebody's going to get speared. There's going to be a disagreement on who gets the pin here, you know, in this big match. Um, so, you know, Wyatt's will end up winning. I think it's going to be a pretty good match, though. I'm, I'm really expecting four-star quality here. Like, I think it's probably going to be, like, one of the best six-man tags. I mean, you got a lot of good talent in here. You know, these guys usually always turn out some of the best matches on the shows that they're on. So, yeah, looking forward to this one. Then you got the Usos and the Outlaws. Unfortunately, I think that the Usos are going to win this one. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, the momentum is on their side. They've, you know, they, they've been really into the Usos as of late. And, you know, they have been in the past. And... You know, unfortunately, it looks like that's going to be it. It looks like the Usos are going to fucking win the titles, which is going to make me quite upset because I don't like the Usos, and I don't think they deserve to win fucking anything in this fucking company. But the way how things are going, it looks like, you know, the Outlaws, they're not going to be there forever, obviously. They obviously can still wrestle. They've been entertaining. But... I seriously think that uh, they're going to lose the titles here. Match probably won't be terrible, but it won't be any, you know, classic either. Then you got Titus O'Neil and Darren Young. Yeah, I think that O'Neil is going to rip through Darren Young. I think it's going to be a quick match. I think they're going to just use this to cement, or I hope, just to make Titus O'Neil into, like, a really strong, like, just the powerful heel he should just fucking blast through him and that and that's it you know just hit his finisher you know just beat the shit out of him and, and that's it because darren young is a jobber no charisma no nothing on the other hand you got titus o'neill with a bright future um you know a lot of charisma very good on the mic very entertaining funny guy um, you know, good, you know, doing it, doing power moves and shit. Not a great wrestler, but the guy could, you know, he, he could amount to something here in his company if they keep him on the right track. Then there'll be Biggie Langston. I think he's going to beat Swagger. He's going to retain in their continental title. Um, I don't really see how Swagger winning the title at this point is, in his career could do anything for him. So they might as well give it to Biggie Langston. And that's exactly what I think they're going to do. Eventually, uh, probably at WrestleMania, I think that they will merge the U.S. title and the Intercontinental title. You'll probably see, like, you know, maybe if they don't end up doing a triple threat match with the Shield at Mania, like I think they will, you know, they'll probably have some type of unification match with, Ambrose or Big E or something. Maybe it'll be on the kickoff show. Who the fuck knows? But those belts are getting merged eventually. You know what's going to happen. Um, then it's going to be Orton, and he's going to win the chamber. Yes, motherfuckers. 
after all that, they're going to have Orton win the chamber. And, and why? 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 Because Orton lost too much as of late. He already lost to Daniel Bryan. You know, um, he already fucking lost to Cesaro, to Cena. Too many fucking losses. Daniel Bryan, they'll make like he's going to win. Oh, he's going to win. But yoink, they're going to just take it away. Kane will interfere or something, or Triple H will interfere, leading to their WrestleMania match. And you know, uh, Daniel Bryan's got the bad shoulder, so it's going to be like, oh, he could have won if it wasn't for the shoulder, you know. But anyway, Orton will end up winning. It will probably like go down to Daniel Bryan and Orton again, and you know, they'll just like make like, oh, he's gonna win, but no, he's not. You know, it'll be fucking disappointing. You know, I'll probably be crying at the end of the event. My my keyboard will be soaked in my tears. You know, and uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, that'll be it. So uh, this is pay-per-view. I got a feeling it'll probably be decent at best. Um, chamber match. It's got some pretty hard-working guys in there. Brian, Cesaro, Sheamus has been doing a little bit better as of late. Christian's a heel that makes him a little bit more appealing there. Wyatt's and Shield will be fucking awesome. Um, so yeah, there you go. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing like some development for Titus O'Neil because as anybody knows, I've been backing this guy for a long time. I'm like the unofficial Titus O'Neil supporter here. I think he could be something big. So anyway, there you go. Um, yeah, there's your predictions. Ha.